In this video we're going to have a look at how to determine the equation of a hyperbola. When determining the equation of a hyperbola, you need to get the constant value for a and q. a indicates in which quadrants this hyperbola lies and q shows you the horizontal asymptote. Example 1. Determine the equation of the given function in the form y is equal to a over x. So this form indicates that the q value is 0 and the horizontal asymptote lies on the x-axis. So all we need to determine is the a value. And just like with all the other functions, we're going to have a look at what information is given on the sketch. Because this function lies in the first and third quadrant, we know that the value of a should be positive. The information given on the sketch is a coordinate that consists of an x and a y value that can be substituted into the equation. So in the place of y, I'm going to substitute a half or 0, 0,5 and in the place of x, I will write 6. To solve a, I need to get rid of the divided by 6 on the right hand side and to do that, I will multiply by 6. And a half times 6 will give an a value of 3. So the final equation will be y is equal to 3 over x. Example 2. Determine the equation of the given function in the form y is equal to a over x plus q. This time we need to determine the values of a and q. And the horizontal asymptote is clearly indicated as y is equal to 4. And because this function lies in the second and fourth quadrant, we know that the final a value should be negative. We can start off by substituting the q value with our horizontal asymptote of 4, and now we need to solve a. To do this, we're going to focus on the extra coordinate that is given, which once again gives us an x and a y value, which we can substitute. So y will change to 2, and the same will happen with the x value. And now we can solve a. Firstly, I'm going to subtract the 4 on the left hand side, which will give me minus 2. And now to get rid of the divided by 2, I will multiply with 2 on the left to get minus 4. So my final equation will then be y is equal to minus 4 over x plus 4. So when determining the equation of a hyperbola, you will always start off determining whether you have the horizontal asymptote, because then you already have the q value. After that, you can substitute in a coordinate to determine a.